yeah the main argument was why believing in god is not a radical or preposterous uh, pre- pre- preposition i don't right? say that it is radical or preposterous i say that there is no evidence for the claim indeed indeed there is not yeah you can't i mean i mean of course god is not visible right we can't yeah. see him yep so if if there But, is no evidence why would you believe it uh i believe in god because i'm naturally inclined to uh, as a normatively functioning human being and and i believe that there is no sufficient good reason for me to reject that inclination right is is the so, fact that there is no evidence enough to reject it but the inference from that inclination speaks for it right what is the inference inference uh you are saying that we are born with a predisposition towards belief in god i don't disagree with you i think there is some science to suggest this but we are also born right. with a predisposition for diarrhea and cancer and a whole lot of other things which are natural just because something is natural does not mean it is good or that it is real right we dream of a lot of things and when we are asleep that's natural right, we are right. born with a predisposition to dream sure but predisposition to dreams diarrhea or cancer it's a not uh, the these things do not lie in the metaphysical realm why not right uh, define the metaphysical realm metaphysical realm is something that you can't test uh, uh, perfectly with science or the tools that science gives us so that usme to bahut kuch aa jayega na do you believe in dragons then you can't test for a dragon if it's a dragon is invisible and floating around in space and is immaterial also and cannot be detected with any known device would you believe sure it? if there's a strong argument for it maybe what could possibly be a strong argument for god give it to me you you wanted to make the kalam cosmological right you, if you want to you can we can talk about that no no it's it it was about uh, why atheism you know i'm not i'm not attacking your position but the paradigm is flawed inherently define the parameter for me i maybe there is something that you misunderstanding about my position because i am an agnostic atheist. no 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 i said paradigm paradigm the world view that you are speaking from no no there is no world view there is just atheism which is the fact that i do not believe in god or gods because there is no evidence simple like you, you asked me, right, what is my what is my biggest argument against major uh, what was it monotheism against yeah yeah so my against answer god is, in general a monotheistic god no, right god in general see the problem is this whenever i talk to theist everyone has a different definition of god so it mm-hmm. helps if i ask the person i am speaking with hey man what is your definition of god when they tell me then we can have a conversation about it without it it's very difficult so do you want to tell me your definition of god sure that's a brilliant method i think i should define the god kyunki main so, hindu ko puchunga christian ko puchunga aur zoroastrian ko puchunga 50 definition milenge aur hum log alag alag dishaon mein bhag rahe honge so just give me your definition and then we can start i believe in the one god all powerful that is not omnipresent i'm not saying god is omnipresent that's not what i believe about god that is not begotten that cannot beget essentially so that actually tells me very little so can you tell me something that you think uh, some some area where your god does connect with the real world like did this god created universe yes okay so why like why, why did he create the god... universe no 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 why do you think that this god create the universe what evidence do you have for it why i think the god created the universe no no essentially saying, uh, okay okay listen i say how do you know that this god created the universe just answer that so can universe pop into existence without a creator or without an external force i don't know no what does your mind says about it i told you what my mind <laughs> says about it i do not know. <laughs> i'm saying that the universe existing like if you can say that an intelligent creator created a universe then people from mm. some other religion might say that their god created the universe how do you discard all other possibilities including popping into existence out of nowhere and arrive on this singular conclusion which is that your intelligent creator god created the universe uh, if you sure look around look around you look at the universe the other things there are 
they are defined by rules right yeah we don't find randomness in nature right uh, that's a complicated question because randomness can mean a number of things but if you are talking about uh, your you know just because something exists it must have a cause is that what you're saying if i'm ask you uh, do you believe in a macro evolution why are we talking macro evolution, evolution in the sense to, what does that have to do with god what has that got to do with god that's how you even could... even if you even if you completely reject evolution that doesn't prove mm-hmm. that god created the universe does it so what created the universe according to you i don't know i'm an agnostic atheist do you know what that means i know that agnostic atheist means do you know what acha so what do you think agnostic atheist means uh, let's break into part agnostic means he doesn't have the answers neither is he denying the existence of god nor is he uh, approving the existence of god an atheist is a atheist is a strong position no It's, there is a strong atheist position and then there is agnostic atheist position agnostic atheist means i make no claims of knowledge about whether god exists or does not but because mm-hmm. there is zero evidence either way i choose to think that until evidence presents itself it is safer to say that i don't know so i say i don't know so what is the nature of the evidence that you are looking for how, how would I you know? define that evidence you are the yeah. one making the claim you are no no i wanted to claim that that i agree but what kind of evidence are you looking for aapke zehen mein kuch hoga na uska uska structure uska blueprint okay let me take your claim first your claim is that a god created the universe i need to understand mm-hmm. how you know this before i present to you what kind of evidence applies to this context so tell me how you know that the god created this universe then i can tell you okay theek hai agar ye hai sach to mujhe ye dikhao let's for a time agree that god created universe right no why why would i agree to god created the universe i'm not trying so i'm not bet- laughing at i'm not laughing at you by the way zoheb theek hai bura mat manna no 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 koi baat nahi main bas puchna cha raha hu ki agar god ne nahi banaya universe ko for example as jaisa aap keh rahe hain so main nahi keh raha hu main nahi keh raha hu main nahi keh raha ki god ne nahi listen you are saying that god indeed indeed aap bhi keh rahe exactly राइट 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 आप नहीं कह रहे लेकिन आप आप कह रहे हैं एविडेंस नहीं आप कह नहीं सकते उस पर आप कुछ कह नहीं सकते कमेंट नहीं कर सकते एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली और क्लेम तुम कर रहे हो इसीलिए आपको एविडेंस देना है बर्डन ऑफ प्रूफ एग्जैक्टली माय पॉइंट एग्जैक्टली माय पॉइंट है एविडेंस का नेचर क्या होगा आप कौन से आप जैसे कि कोई भी आपको कोई एक पॉइंट दे देगा लेकिन एक आपके जहन में ब्लूप्रिंट होगा ना एविडेंस का नहीं अगर गॉड का ही डेफिनेशन नहीं बताया अब तक तुम्हें तो ब्लूप्रिंट कहां से लाऊंगा मैं तुमने कहा कि गॉड ने यूनिवर्स को बनाया है हाउ डू यू नो दिस यू आर नॉट क्लेमिंग दैट दिस इज अ हाइपोथेसिस राइट यू नो दिस फॉर एब्सोल्युटली श्योर राइट हाउ डू यू नो दिस फॉर एब्सोल्युटली श्योर गॉड क्रिएटेड लाइफ एज अ टेस्ट अगेन दैट्स अ क्लेम हाउ डू यू नो दैट दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट आई बिलीव इन सो दैट्स लाइक इफ इफ अ हिंदू सेज दैट ब्रह्मा क्रिएटेड द यूनिवर्स विल यू बिलीव देम डिफाइन ब्रह्मा वॉट एवर मतलब एक आदमी है उसके चार सिर है और वो एक लोटस के फूल पे बैठता है और उसके हाथ से लाइट निकलती है उसको ही ऑल्सो हैज बियर्ड्स ऑन ऑल इज हेड्स बट दैट वुड कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट विद माई डेफिनेशन ऑफ गॉड राइट एग्जैक्टली गॉड इज अनलाइक गॉड इज अनलाइक वॉट वुड यू आस्क दैट पर्सन वॉट वुड यू आस्क दैट पर्सन विच द पर्सन वॉज क्लेमिंग ब्रह्मा पर्सन वो सेट दैट ब्रह्मा क्रिएटेड द यूनिवर्स वॉट वुड यू आस्क दैम वॉट वुड आई आस्क दैम इंटरेस्टिंग and then imagine me asking you that question because it's the same thing you just don't believe in every god you believe in one god that has that that corresponds to your definition of god and i am asking you how do you know that that is true to uski baseline agar hum kaise mane ki फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपको कोई एविडेंस जैसे कि आप एविडेंस की तलाश में हो राइट कैन आई से दैट मैं पहले क्लेम सुनता हूँ फिर एविडेंस मांगता हूँ ना तुमने क्लेम कर दिया आप, और मैं तुमसे एग्नोस्टिक हो ना एग्नोस्टिक खाली एग्नोस्टिक नहीं हूँ 
सो आपके जहन में वो एविडेंस क्या होगा अरे भैया वी आर गोइंग इन सर्कल्स डू यू वांट टू कम बैक सम डे आफ्टर प्रिपेयरिंग अ लिटिल मोर अबाउट व्हाट माय पोजीशन अबाउट गॉड क्रिएटिंग द यूनिवर्स या तुमने कल चैट में बहुत सारी चीजें कही थी मुझे लगा था तुम उनको रेज करोगे लाइक यू नो कलाम कॉस्मोलॉजिकल आर्ग्युमेंट या प्लेटोस केव और समथिंग but you haven't gone there and we are stuck on the first question and you keep asking me what kind of evidence do i want and i am asking you my evidence ka demand will only come after you tell me how you know what you know right that i told you na it's it's, yeah. it's it's grounded in belief first of all when i i, I can say that belief is not knowledge i am not asking you what you believe i am asking you how you know but there is but there is research you know development What? psychologists are basing it that humans are predisposed or tuned to believe in a higher power ha, i told you that is not evidence because we have a lot of pre- natural predispositions you are not you are not simply saying that the idea of god exists in our brain because that i agree with i'm saying what is the evidence that I, that idea is true about a being who created the universe we believe in a lot of things the evidence right. for those things needs to be pre- pre- presented separately just because like mere hindi channel pe ek video hai hindi english channel pe main bhul gaya which is that desire for god is not evidence of god mujhe ek ladki bahut mm-hmm. pasand hai theek hai main usko har road taadta hu college ke bahar aur ye ummeed karta hu ki wo mujhse pyar karegi maine apne aap ko convince kar liya ki wo mujhe chup chup ke dekhti hai aur wo mujhse pyar karti hai but that does not mm-hmm. mean that she does love me i me thinking that she loves me is not proof that she does love me right mm-hmm. yeah so that's what i'm saying hamare dimag mein predisposition hona god ke existence ka proof kaise ho sakta hai to aapko kya lagta hai wo predisposition kaise aaya uske piche kuch theories hain would you like me to go into it like there is a thing called had uh, hyperactive agent detection jab uh, hum log bahut pehle jab evolution mein hamara human history shuru ho rahi thi we were mm-hmm. helpless राइट right? तो हम लोग जंगल में से गुजर रहे होंगे और हमारा दिमाग क्रिएट करेगा एजेंट्स कि तुम्हारे पीछे एक भालू है और हम लोग भालू को लेके इतने डर जाते थे कि हम लोग अलर्ट हो जाते थे और उस अलर्टनेस की वजह से भालू हो ना हो सांपों और कुत्तों से बच जाते थे सो आवर ब्रेन्स क्रिएटेड अ मैकेनिज्म विच वॉज काइंड ऑफ लाइक इट क्रिएट्स इट क्रिएट्स फिक्शनल कैरेक्टर्स इन आवर ब्रेन इन ऑर्डर टू मेक अस अलर्ट टू रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स एंड खुद उसी के ऊपर उसके ऊपर थोड़ा और उसके ऊपर थोड़ा और ऐसे हो हो के एवोल्यूशनरीली वो टेंडेंसी हमारे अंदर से गई नहीं है वी स्टिल क्रिएट फिक्शनल कैरेक्टर्स द एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री इज द ह्यूजेस्ट इंडस्ट्री इन द वर्ल्ड सो वहीं से शुरू हुआ मुझे लगता है एवोल्यूशनरीली देर इज अ रीजन वी हैव अ प्री डिस्पोजेशन टू बिलीव इन एजेंट्स एंड रिलीजन वॉज जस्ट स्टोरी इज लाइंग ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट एंड टॉप ऑफ इट एंड टॉप ऑफ इट और आज हम यहाँ पे हैं it's it's a much more believable theory that god created the universe because we know what we are we have studied our brains we know that we get afraid we know that we start thinking that there is someone around me when there is darkness or there is an halchal in the jhadiyan right that is true that happens to all of us so it's not impossible so god created the universe despite the fact that we don't know anything about the creation of the universe wo kahan se aata hai तो यूनिवर्स एग्जिस्टेंस में कैसे है आपको फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हम गॉड को एज अ एजेंट ट्रीट करें और साइड पर रख दें हमें नहीं पता गॉड ने क्रिएट किया यूनिवर्स के नहीं तो दूसरी दूसरा मोस्ट प्रोबेबल एजेंट कौन सा होगा एग्जिस्टेंस की क्रिएशन के लिए सो यू शुड टॉक टू अ फिजिसिस्ट अबाउट दैट आई एम एन एग्नोस्टिक एथियस्ट हु इज सेइंग दैट आई डू नॉट नो राइट यू आर द वन हु इज मेकिंग अ क्लेम दैट यू डू नो दैट गॉड क्रिएटेड द यूनिवर्स एंड आई एम आस्किंग व्हाट इज द एविडेंस फॉर इट मैं दूसरे पे क्यों जाऊं दिस इज अन्वर्सेशन एथीजम राइट एनी वे ठीक है जोहेब एक काम करते हैं कम बैक नेक्स्ट लाइव स्ट्रीम एंड वी कैन टॉक इन मोर डिटेल अबाउट इट मे बी यू कैन मे बी यू कैन लाइक यू नो राइट डाउन योर थॉट्स एंड दैट हेल्प समटाइम्स कभी कभी अटक जाता है बात करते समय आदमी मे बी इफ यू राइट डाउन योर थॉट्स इट विल बी क्लियर